Hi friends, welcome to my channel, VLSI Gyan. In this session, we will see what is the difference between clock skew and jitter. Friends, we know that both are timing related issues. So actually what is the difference between these two is the main agenda of this video. So if you are watching for the first time, I request you to subscribe to my channel to get all the stuff related to VLSI. So now let's move to the video. So clock skew. Friends, I have made a separate video on clock skew. I will provide the link in the de description box. You can check and you can gain some more detailed information about clock skew. So here in this video, we are mainly focusing on the difference between clock skew and clock jitter. So clock skew is the difference in the arrival time of the same clock at the different points in the design. So when we are using the same clock, but the clock is not arriving to all the points at the same time, then it gives rise to clock skew. The same clock at different points in the design is not the same. The time is not the same. Then it gives arrival to the clock skew. So the difference in the arrival time of the clock at two different registers. Here is an example, friends. Suppose this is one of the register A and this is another register B, right? And we are having a clock source which is common to both the registers. We can see the clock is given to register A and it arrives at the time 1.1 nanoseconds, whereas for the clock B, it arrives at 1.3 nanoseconds. So the skew here is the difference in the arrival time. So you can see that 1.3 minus 1.1, that is coming around 0.2 nanoseconds. So this is the skew difference in the arrival time of the clock at different points in the design. So uh, what happens if uh, this queue is present in the design? Uh, see here, we can have a failure or data loss due to the large skew. In this figure, you can find see here that there is one flip-flop which is called regis A and the other one is B, reg B or flop B. A in is the input of this flop A and A out is its output. This is given to a combinational circuit and the output of this logic is given as a B in, put, B in input to the second flop that is B. And the same clock is given to both the reg, you can see, but the clock is not arriving at the same time as it is having clock skew. So it is arriving at a different time. You can see delta delay, some delay is there. And then it is arriving to the point B, right? So what happens is if the new data A in gets into the point B in, like we have a new data A in, which is coming to the point B in before the clock is coming. So B in is arriving before. So from here to here, it is earlier than the clock. Then what happens is the system will simply catch this and it will lose the previous data because this is arriving first. So it will take the one at the arrival of the clock, whatever the data is available, it will catch it and it may lose the, skip the old data. So there is a chances of failure of the design and also loss of data. So this is one of the effect of clock skew. Now why this clock skew occurs? is because of many reasons there are like wire length uh, variations the changes in the wire used for the connection purposes and the delays in the gate the propagation delay every gate has different propagation delay so based on that the clock skew may uh, change okay so the clock distribution network how we are going to define the clock distribution network plays a very crucial role. So this is also a one of the cause. Process variation, manufacturing. While manufacturing, different devices have different uh, temperature and variations and different uh, properties. Because of that also, there are the chances of the um, clock skew to occur, right? So this is about the clock skew. Next, next we will see what is clock jitter. So clock jitter on the other side is sometimes uh, is uh, sometimes some external sources like 
noise, voltage variations may cause to disrupt the natural periodicity or frequency of the clock. What happens here is because of some changes, because of some external noise or uh, some other reasons, the natural periodicity of the clock, like the on state, off state continuously, it is um, periodic. So that is affected. So that periodicity is affected for some small duration or some temporary duration of time. So that is called as jitter. This deviation from the natural location is called the jitter. Ideally, where it should has where it has to be and where it is. So based on that, this deviation is nothing but jitter. Why this jitter is caused? Because of many reasons. There are many reasons like uh, manufacturing of different components have different uh, properties. Because of that, it can arise because of the noise, because of the electrical fluctuation, because of temperatures, voltage variation. Because of all these reasons, what happens is there is a um, temporary transition of the clock edges, so which will give rise to clock jitter. Okay. So you can see here in this figure, this is changing where it has to be and where it is, right? Both clock skew and jitter both affects the design and they lead to actually uh, give a rise to setup and hold time violations because of this hold time and setup time violations, your design is not... Uh, uh, working as per the timing right so we should always take care of this clock skew and jitter so ideally you can see that all the cycles the time period is same this is suppose one this is two this is three and we can say though all the four clock periods are almost the same whereas for the uh, clock with the jitter you can see that these periods are different here, see, this is a little bit bigger as compared to this. And here also, it is, uh, see, smaller. And here again, almost all different. So, what happens is because of the variations, as we have discussed earlier, the edge of the clock, the edges of the clock are deviating from its original position. So, this is jitter. So, how it affects the design? Again, it gives rise to the um, setup and hold time violations. And because of the setup and hold time violations, we have, we know that uh, meta stability and all this occurs and uh, our design is not a uh, stable one as uh, when you compare it with respect to the timing analysis. And then it is uh, not a good design, right? So why this jitter is caused? Jitter is mainly caused because of the temperature and voltage variations in the over time and in the on the chip at different locations on the chip, manufacturing variations, also electrical fluctuations. All this give rise to clock jitter. So friends, I hope. Uh, this gave you a little idea about what is clock skew and what is jitter. Clock skew is mainly the difference in the arrival time of the clock at different positions in the design, whereas clock jitter is the deviation of clock edge from its original position for a small or a temporary duration. Okay, so for temporary duration, uh, what happens? The clock edge is deviating from its idle position. This is clock jitter. This is the main idea. Both are the timing related issues. Both give rise to um, setup and hold time violations. And what you can do is to reduce the clock jitter. You can use filters. You can use uh, uh, conditioning circuits. And uh, you can now reduce the jitter. Whereas to reduce the clock skew effect, you can uh, optimize the tree distribution networks, you can add buffers and all, and you can anyhow set the uh, clock timing in the design. So thanks for watching. Uh, please like, share and subscribe if you like the video and put your queries in the comment section. I will definitely work on it and I will present in front of you. So thank you. Thanks for watching.